Hey, what's going on everyone in the Jason Nation? My name is Jason and welcome back to another top 5 video and it's been a while since we did the last one and today I'm very excited to be bringing you guys the top 5 Johto Pokemon I think should get in Alola form in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now if you guys are hyped for today's video, feel free to leave a thumbs up at any point if you do go on to enjoy it. If you don't, even feel free to leave a dislike. Either one's totally fine with me, but... Do remember one thing, please keep in mind that all the choices made in this top 5 list are all based on my own personal opinion. Feel free to leave yours in the comments if you'd like to, if you disagree with mine of course. I'm open to hear all of your guys' ideas if you'd like to share them. Also before we get started, don't forget to also leave a comment down below letting me know which region you'd like to see me cover next. You've got 5 other ones to choose from, so make sure you let me know which one you'd like to see the most. If you also have any ideas for your own custom Alola form Pokemon, feel free to suggest them down in the comments. And if your comment is really unique or gets a lot of upvotes, chances are that I'll actually have your idea featured in the next video and drawn up just like the custom arts you'll see in this video. Who knows, your idea might even be good enough to just make it on the list. And if it does, you can expect a special shout out from me. Also, another thing is, if you're an artist yourself and you'd like to maybe have a go at designing the Pokemon yourself and create your own custom Alola form, feel free to send in your custom art drawings to the email that's provided on screen, and I'll be featuring a few submissions at the beginning of each video in this six-parter top five series. Now, without any further introduction, let's get right into today's countdown. Coming in at number 5 today, we've got ourselves Donphan. Now when I first saw the Ninetales Evolution Chain and the Sand Slash Evolution Chain in their Alolan forms, I thought the crystallized ice type look was too damn sick to pass up on using for more remastered Pokemon designs in the future. As I'm sure Nintendo has realized that most people would really enjoy cool new designs for some fan favorite Pokemon, especially with how much love the Mega Evolution got. I can definitely imagine that maybe they could give my boy Donphan the same treatment. Seeing as they gave Sandshrew and Sandslash in Alola form, I don't see why they couldn't just do the same thing for the Donphan evolution line. Because it is also a pure ground type, like Sandslash was, so maybe they could just pull the same crystallized look for Donphan. When you look at the design on screen, you can clearly see it does take a lot of inspiration from both Ninetales and Sandslash's Alolan forms, and it would be a really unique Pokemon to have as a possible ice ground type. So the idea I had in mind is that Donphan would be more native to the Snow Mountain area in Alola. It seems like this thing's typing could be the best it could possibly be if it had a dual typing of ice and ground. Although, the downside is that he now has two more weaknesses than before, being fire and steel. Even though this could hinder him in some areas, especially in battle, amounting to a total of five weaknesses could be somewhat catastrophic for Donphan. This would also be one of the coolest designs, however, for the Alolan form so far, so I'd like to think it's a win-win situation. Also, if this Pokemon was actually real, then it would be one of those very situational Pokemon based on how many weaknesses it has. Coming in at our number 4 spot today, we've got ourselves Politoed. Now, Politoed, in my opinion, I think would be an awesome candidate to become a water grass type. If I remember correctly, we haven't had that dual typing since Ludicolo and his whole evolution line. And the reason why I was thinking this one would work good as a grass type as well as a water type is that now this way, he's completely resistant to grass attacks, he also resists electric attacks assuming that grass becomes his main typing, and he's also got a resistance to fire as well because he retains his main typing of water, and then it becomes his secondary typing. Then that would mean he's only weak to three types, being flying, poison, and bug. So this means that Politoed would have great type coverage, especially since it already has a bunch of non-stab moves. It could give the ability to have a bit more diversity if some of his moves were changed to give him more stab moves. Plus, with Politoed only having one base typing originally, it's a little bit depressing to only have one type nowadays. So I think maybe having a sub grass type to make him more look like your average woodland frog, that might be a bit cooler. And what a better way to make him look like that than in his design than to add a grass typing and a leaf right at the core of his stomach to show right away the obvious change in his typing. Similar to how obvious Ninetales main typing is without even looking it up, you can just tell by looking at it. Let me know, do you think that the grass water typing combo would be a good typing for an Alolan Politoed? I absolutely love it. Also, keeping water absorb on this thing as well would probably be pretty nice to have.
Moving on to number three, we've got Corsola. For some reason, I thought that considering there's a ton of water around the Alola region, what if the Corsola decided to migrate over to the Alola region in Hawaii for the season, and some decided to stay, while some never left? Those Corsola who never left decided to live near the only active volcanoes in Hawaii, one of which is named Loihi, and it resides under the water off the southern coast of the biggest island in Hawaii. So some of these Corsola decide to migrate to a more volcanic environment and then become volcanic Corsolas. Just imagine having a fire rock type Corsola, or better yet, a fire steel type. That way we can immediately throw away that quad weakness to water with fire rock, then we do fire steel. This way it, we also eliminate its original typing entirely and make it more like a molten volcanic Corsola like I mentioned. I thought this way would be more interesting as a way to make Corsola possibly a bit more bulkier and try something a bit different with a really underrated Pokemon in my opinion. And this way you could find a way to make it slightly more appealing to use. This would also be very helpful against fairy types with the steel type advantage that it now has. And also, I just think this thing looks adorable. Now for the number 2 spot, we've got a Pokemon that I heavily debated on between using this one and the number 1 pick for today for this spot. This is a Pokemon that I think really needs to get a new form of some kind. Out of all the Pokemon who I had really wished and wanted to get a Mega Evolution, Kingdra was one of the top 10 on my list. I'd have to say that if this thing were to get some kind of Alola form, I could probably forgive you for no Mega Evo, Game Freak. Let's reimagine this thing possibly becoming some kind of sea serpent dragon. As we know, Kingdra has a dual typing of water dragon. It in most ways resembles a seahorse that's fully grown that's also a dragon. Just imagine if this thing's Alola form was something more like a serpent, but it was about as long as two hunt tails, and it would have a similar head to before, that part wouldn't really change much at all, but his whole body would be altered so that he would look more like a serpentine or a dragon. What could be even more interesting is if he ended up keeping his ordinary typing instead of changing to a new one. It seems so far a trend with all the Alolan form Pokemon is that they all seem to have type changes of some sort, whether that be one or both of their typings that get changed when they're in their Alola form. I think it would be more ideal that if Kingdra got one of these forms that he should just keep his current typing. As it stands, he only has two weaknesses, being Fairy and Dragon, so killing him super effectively isn't easy unless you're packing the correct heat to take him on. That's the one thing that seems slightly unlikely about Kingdra getting an Alolan form, because if they must change a type at least once for every Pokemon that has a new form, then I'm not really sure what they could switch Kingdra to. Maybe a dark typing could be substituted in there, or maybe even... Ugh, I, I don't even know, honestly. He's just got a perfect type combination the way he is right now. If any of you have suggestions for Kingdra's possible Alolan form typing, feel free to let me know them in the comments. Finally, coming in at our number one spot, we've got ourselves what is without a doubt by far my favorite custom concept for this entire video and all of the different Alolan Pokemon I have so far. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon is Macargo. Now, Macargo is definitely not the coolest Pokemon in the world. But it's not about how much popularity this Pokemon has that makes it worthy of receiving one of these new forms. It's the fact that his change would be so epic and so drastic that when I first had this idea, I just had to have it made right away. We've got a water type Macargo. Now I had some crazy awesome ideas for this guy right here. First of all, as you can tell, the main difference is the fact that his body is no longer made of magma and now it's entirely made out of water, aside from its shell of course. Now when you first look at this thing, what typing would you say it's changed to? Obviously, we know that its fire type has been swapped out for water type, but what people would probably think is that I've kept its secondary typing of rock. But I thought about something even more interesting than that. What if we make this thing a liquid nitrogen snail? Here's how I thought that could be possible. Imagine if a bunch of Bacargo that are native to Alola decide- Oh hey, let's all go change our forms today for absolutely no f***ing reason. 
Now, some of you may or may not know, liquid nitrogen is made by compressing and cooling down trapped air inside of a certain space and allowing it to fully expand, and then once it's released into a certain area of space, the condensed down gas is then separated and it starts evaporating using fractional distillation. So, with an easier way and slightly less logical way of explaining that, within a Pokemon game, if this thing is made out of water and it decides to go over to a volcano to trap heated air within its shell, it then migrates back down to the shores, lives down on the ocean floor for a little bit. Once the compressed air is then cooled, they can rise back up on the shore and have a reserve amount of liquid nitrogen or gas inside of its shell that it can either use in some of its attacks or it can even have as an ability that's sort of similar to Runaway where you can release a bunch of gas or nitrogen in this case that is a way to flee from the battle and escape, which would be a really cool idea if they made some kind of ability like that. Now, not only that, but even though he currently only has access to four poison moves, if this thing became part poison on top of being a water type, not only would that make it one of the most unique dual typings that we've had since Quillfish, if I'm not mistaken anyways, but then it would most likely unlock more moves on its move pool that could be used for stab with its new poison typing. Now, I know the whole explanation of the making liquid nitrogen thing wouldn't exactly work like the way I explained it, but it's a dumbed down version of a way of explaining it so that everybody can understand, plus it's it's video game logic, it really doesn't have to make sense. Either way, this has been my top 10 on which Johto Pokemon that I think should get their own Alola forms in Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you did go on to enjoy the video while you watched it, please consider leaving a thumbs up before you go, because these types of videos always take quite a while to make, so a simple thumbs up rating would be really, really appreciated. Also, before you go, don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite Alola form from this video was. I'd love to know which one of your guys' favorite was. Also, please be sure to include in the comment what region you'd like to see me do next, and I'll end up doing the most thumbed up answer down in the comments. So make sure to thumbs up a good idea if you end up seeing one down there. Speaking of good ideas also, make sure to submit any of your own ideas for certain Alola forms in the comments, and also feel free to send in some of your own Alola forms slash like Mega Pokemon custom arts to any of my social medias or the email on screen like I mentioned for a chance to have your art featured in the beginning of the next video and with all that said thank you all so much once again for watching and i'll catch you legends in the next pokemon sun and moon top 5 video